What is up my beautiful, amazing and gorgeous people? Welcome to another one of these videos that I, Victor Dozel, make for each and every one of you with so much love. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing how to encrypt and decrypt using PGP in Max. And with that said, let's get the party started. So step one in this whole thing is of course, you have to download the tool with which you're gonna do your encryption and decryption. And that tool is gpgtools.org. Uh, in this website, you're gonna download this tool, pretty darn simple. You're gonna wait for this to download. It's just uh, 26.2 megs, not too much. Then you're gonna click this little nice install icon. You're gonna nice. do the default installation stuff here. Continue, agree, install. You're gonna, of course, enter your password. You're gonna wait for this installation thing to complete. All right, now when you close this, it's gonna automatically open the PGP tool. You're gonna move the installer to the trash, yes. You're gonna close this little, well, whatever. So here is where you're gonna basically create your key pair. And this is similar to another video that we went over in the past, uh, the one that used the online tool, the iGolder website, I think it's it's what it was. Um, anyway, we all know that that website is probably not the safest uh, thing to use out there. Nobody knows if it's really compromised, at least I haven't verified it. But just in case, this tool is extremely safe. So here you're basically just going to enter your information. Uh, in my case, it's Victor Dozel. My email is, um, well, I'm gonna enter my email at victordozel.com. Just so you know, that's not my email, so don't email me there. And last but not least, you can enter a password. This is gonna give you an indicator of how strong your password is. I entered my password as password, and so that's why it's telling me that the strength is basically none. Uh, I might be better off just entering not a, like no password. But anyway, I'm gonna click on generate key, and then, yeah, it's telling me that the password is too crappy, so I'm gonna just go ahead and, actually, my bad. I'm gonna use the simple password. So this is creating my PGP key, and there we go. So right now it's giving us the option to upload our public PGP key to a an online place. It's like a directory, and so this directory is so that your friends, family, and other people can find you in this directory. They can find your public key, and what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow everyone to encrypt messages for you. This is in no way unsafe. Remember that the public key is used to encrypt messages. So in this case, it's just an example, so I'm gonna click no thanks. Alrighty, now what we have to do is go find the file that we want to encrypt. So the file that I'm gonna encrypt is this video file up here. So when I click it, it's gonna open a video. My name is Jeff. <laughs> and so what we want to do is encrypt um, this person saying, My name is Jeff. Uh, because it's highly secretive. It's a highly secretive video. Once we install this GPG keychain tool, what that's going to do is it's going to give us the ability to right click on any file. You're going to go to services and then you're going to say encrypt the file. This is gonna give you the option to choose which public key to use to encrypt the message. So in this case, I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna send a message to myself. So I'm gonna encrypt the message using Victor Dozel's public key. All you have to do is select the person's name and click on encrypt. At this point, it's gonna ask you to use the passphrase that in this case I entered so that you can encrypt the file. And that passphrase in this case, it's gonna be password. I'm gonna show my typing, there we go, password and I'm not gonna save this in the keychain. Now, if I click on this file, it's gonna decrypt the file, but we don't wanna do that just yet. If you were not, or you did not have the correct key to decrypt this message, it would do nothing. Uh, nobody could open this message. However, like I said, if I double click it, it's gonna automatically decrypt the message. It's telling us right here that the my name is Jeff has, uh, well, we have the key to open the message. And let's just try decrypting the message in a different way. I'm gonna right click it, I'm gonna go to services, and I'm gonna decrypt the file. And again, this is gonna have the same exact effect. So I'm gonna open this file again. My name is Jeff too. My name is Jeff. <laughs> and there we go. Now we know how to encrypt the message. Again, you basically just right click, you 
click on encrypt file. You pick the public key of the person that you want to send the message to. And then when you receive a file, all you have to do is either double click the file if you have the private key, of course. And then also you can right click on the file and select the decrypt option right here. And that is it. You're basically done. Now you know how to use PGP on Macs. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Alrighty, thank you all so much for watching the video. I truly highly appreciate it. I hope it was extremely useful. If you did find it helpful, please don't forget to hit slap and destroy that like button so that this video can get recommended to everyone through the amazing YouTube algorithm. Remember that every like helps this community, your community, to continue to grow so that we can help other people around the world learn cool things. Also, remember to subscribe and share it with each of your friends. Thanks again for watching and never stop learning. See you next time.